in Russia, movie watches you. It's the worst Russian accent I've ever heard. <laughs> hey, it's almost as good as Army Hammers. So we just saw The Man from U.N.C.L.E. And the only thing that is different about this spy movie is that Guy Ritchie's directing it. This is a reimagining of a 1960s television show with Guy Ritchie's take on this spy versus spy action movie. And it doesn't get much simpler than this. You have an American spy, you have a Russian spy. They don't like each other. Oh, but there's an atomic bomb on the loose. They have to work together to solve this problem. Okay, so coming out of the theater, Ryan and I were all over the board with this one. For me personally, it took a long time to reach a consensus on this. It never was a bad movie. I just felt that it was bland. Uh, they had like gorgeous looking shots. You have attire and scenery that totally fits the vibe and just looks great. But I think the problem relies on the actors that they cast. They never do more than their persona that they're given. They're very uh, not fleshed out. This has all the style of a Guy Ritchie movie and all the substance of an Austin Powers movie. So Guy Ritchie, he does what Guy Ritchie does and he brings his style of art to this film. From anything from crazy cuts to the style of action and how he like jumps from all over the place and around. He uh, decided to score this movie with a very, very heavy soundtrack. The soundtrack is playing like almost like 80% of the time I felt. There were some really interesting choices in this. But I kept thinking the whole time, I would have preferred Quentin Tarantino style of doing the soundtrack for the movies. The soundtrack is used to convey emotion and feeling out of the audience. And this film struggles to find out exactly what it wants to be. Because at times this is a comedy, at times this is supposed to be very serious because like you have a character that is like really frustrated and angry and not in a comical manner because he's a like big brute of a guy. So when you don't have the tone set right and you're trying to use music cues, it just kind of leaves you sitting there like, okay, I guess I'm supposed to feel this way. Because you can tell what you're supposed to feel from the music, but what you're seeing and how the actors are acting doesn't add up. All right, so let's talk about the actors and the casting in this movie. For me personally, I thought this was a wasted opportunity with the casting. Henry Cavilli, Cav Cavalli, Superman, whatever. Him and Army Hammer in this it just neither one of them really popped they are not leads in a movie like they really can't carry films you look at uh henry cavill he has just superman and all the other movies he's been in hasn't been that great and i don't know why they keep on trying to make army hammer a star because everything he's in he is i don't know he's not convincing lone ranger i'm looking right at you ironically he should be the Tonto in every movie. <laughs> I'm better with him being the Winklevoss twin in every situation. I, I mean, I get it. They want some chiseled chins on screen. That's fine. But neither one of these guys do anything for this movie. They're just fill-ins. They're just mm -hmm. filling out those 60s-styled suits that yeah. they have. It's not much to ask from an actor to play a one-note dimension of either being charming or having anger management problems. And also, his accent was very off-putting. It sort of settled in a little bit towards the middle of the movie, but if, I found it distracting. Yeah, the first like 20 minutes of this film, I was like, this is not a very convincing Russian accent. And over time, after tons of wipes and cuts, you just kind of got used to it. Well, eventually, they just keep shooting at him enough that he has to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The problem fixes itself. Honestly, if it wasn't for Guy Ritchie's name attached to this and his style of directing, you would never be able to tell us apart from any other spy film that's out there. Oh, and you have a new code name. Code name? Uncle. For me, this movie was okay. It was passable. Points for trying, but I'm probably going to forget this tomorrow. For me, this is 6 out of 10 reels. So I'm going to go right there with you. 6 out of 10 reels. Uh, it wasn't for Guy Ritchie doing what Guy Ritchie does best in stylizing this film. I think it was really, really bland and doesn't have that much personality. So for that reason, like I said, 6 out of 10 reels. And thanks for watching our review of Man from Uncle. And don't forget, if you like this review, make sure you like and subscribe down below. This is The Real Report. Thanks, guys.